OK Studio, we are live in 3, 2, 1 and Q Max. Welcome to UBC. Shortly we will be joining Zara, our amazing Roman time reporter, who will be time jumping to give us a bigger picture on Earth's current ecological problems. That's great Max, go to time reporter in one minute. Zara, can you hear me Zara? I can't hear Zara, the line is down. Studio, this is Zara. I can hear you. Finally, Zara. You're only 10. Universal Translator online now. Time circuits to green. Time feed is live. We see you, Zara. Thanks, Max. I'm here today with Dip of the Dip with the Dico. Thank you for joining us here on UBC today. Hello! UBC has been investigating the history of Earth's environmental problems. Could you tell us about any pollution or climate issues from your time? Well, apart from the swamp, it's pretty clean. We have lots of space, plenty to eat, and I need plenty. But so many of you, surely it can't be good for the environment. I try and walk gently across the surface of the planet, although I do make a fair bit of gas to only eat plants, but anything that harms the plant harms us. The last thing anyone should do is mess around with the ecosystem. Thanks, Dippy. Well, I must say, Earth is looking pretty good at this time. The air is very clean and there is no rubbish. Rubbish? Uh, next we'll be jumping millions of years ahead to look at life on a 16th century farm. Thank you, Zara and Dippy. Zara, come to you in 30 seconds. Zara, just 24 seconds. Hello, studio. You're breaking up. Can you hear me? Zara, yes, we have you. In five, good luck. Three, two, cue Zara. Hello viewers, I'm here with a farm boy from Essex and the year is 1562. Hello Samuel, can you tell us about any concerns you have with your environment? Environment? What's that? You know, the land and the weather. Us country folks are very interested in the weather. We need the rain and the sun to make our crops grow. We look after the land and the land looks after us. Yes, but what about pollution? Pollution, rubbish, waste. We don't waste anything. We feed the scraps to the animals and horse manure is used to help the vegetables grow. Waste not, want not. Well, there you have it. The pollution reader does seem to be remarkably low up here. Well done, Zara. You've got excellent viewer feedback on that one. Keep the timeline open, Sparky. I'll need the translator for this one. I hope it's waterproof. Hello? Bubbles, can you hear me down there? Yes, I can hear you. Hello, I'm here with Bubbles, a pipe that lives in the Thames. Now, Bubbles, can you tell me a bit about your ecosystem in... 1855. Well, it's pretty bad. These rivers used to be full of fish, but now there are hardly any of us left. It's because of the pollution from the factories. They just don't care what they dump in the river. <coughs> All this rubbish is making me ill. The pollution reader does seem to be remarkably high in this river. Thank you, Bubbles. That was Zara with the time report from the Industrial Revolution. Join us later where we'll be interviewing someone from just 80 years ago. Now let's get the latest from the hurricane in Norfolk. Sparky, Sparky! The string matrix is in flux and I've got fuzz in this second line. And what is this? Sparky, we have lost the timing. No, let's stop. Zara. Hello again, I am here with Kerr who was a pupil at Perifield Student School here in 2012. <laughs> Kurt, what do you do to help the environment? Well I, I mend stuff when they're broken and I, and I recycle stuff. And does everyone in 2012 do that? I don't think so, but it's a shame because, because there's lots of rubbish in the world. Zara, we are losing you. Well, we seem to have lost that time report for the moment, but we will do all we can to get it back. In the meantime, we'll find out about... Go to the weather, or you're fired. The weather. 
And time for a commercial break. Sparky, is the TDA ready? Good. Okay, studio, ready for the handover. This is the big one. Activate the TDA. Zara, stand by. We seem to be having a few problems bringing you Zara's report today. This old equipment! I told the station manager we needed an upgrade, but it's all cutbacks here. How are we supposed to do a new show with this outdated technology? I don't know. They don't know what we go through here. That would keep it all together. What are you doing? Sparky, our time reporter is floating back. I don't know what she thinks she is doing. We have a show to do. Zara, I'm glad your gravity belt will stop messing about. Link established. And in the last of our time reports today, we will hear how Earth's environmental problems have been affecting the tourist trade. Zara. Hello, Earthlings. Obbly Bobbly, could you tell us about your recent experience on Earth? I was planning the family holiday and fancy something new, so we thought it tripped Earth. But when we got there, it was awful. Great dirty clouds, dreadful weather, rubbish everywhere, nothing decent to eat. So we turned around and left. We have a saying, keep the galaxy tidy. Thank you, Obbly Bobbly. It seems that we won't be getting any more visitors to Earth. Back to the studio. Zara, Spark is having a few problems with the TEA, so you may be there a while. I hope you took enough oxygen. OK, Max, 10 seconds to out. Well, this concludes this week's time report. Join us next week where we will be investigating toxic gas buildup in Epping Forest. Is it the cause of mutant rats? Thank you for watching, viewers, and good night. Trent, why don't we make a copy of today's show and drop it back to Kurt in 2012? Maybe then we could stop this mess. That's a great idea, but you know the rules about changing time. They would close us down. Also, I don't think we have the technology to make a DVD anymore. Although this station is falling apart, and our ratings aren't what they used to be, I would love to know what it's like to swim in the sea, or go for a walk in the countryside, or breathe clean, fresh air. Sparky, what do you think? Can we make a DVD?